nice right lemonade here. And it's now time for a new um, Daddy and Oregon album, Wu Day. This is the latest album by folk slash country singer Daniel Norgan, who pretty much made a reputation for himself, uh, for himself for having quite an interesting taste of his uh, style of folk and country. I'm not saying he's not the first one, but he's definitely one of the, uh, the counters that I found interesting about him. And pretty much over the years, ever uh, since probably his last five or six albums that he released, maybe four, I can't really remember how many he has, um, he's pretty much built a cult following uh, over the last few years. Going into this album, uh, new to this guy's music, I was pretty hoping of something a lot. Because not a lot of people know this, but I, I honestly love folk. Um, I don't listen to a lot of Bob D Dylan, but I sure do listen to uh, folk that's like indie or alternative, like Pavement or uh, Natural Milk Hotel. But aside from those, I do listen to a lot of newer folk hacks, um, such as this one. And I, this, this pretty much excites me even more. So going into this album, going to this album as a new person here, the beginnings just suck. Not because they're not bad, they're they're certainly interesting, but they they don't prepare you, they don't warm you up, they don't just they don't even give you anything. The starting of this album, along with the second song here just bored me and that's more of a personal taste if you kind of like this kind of music at the beginning I mean I guess it just I guess this counts but overall I just didn't see this much and I felt like there was kind of a waste of potential but it certainly um, uh, certainly got me hyped up again with the third song Dandelion Time which is quite <laughs> Quite a song. It always just it makes me more question the album. Why is this not the beginning here? Why is the second song here six six minutes long, and yet it pretty much has nothing but nature-like experimental sounds? This confused me, but I digress. So Dandelion Time is a great song, it had great rhythm, <laughs> rhythm and a great guitar work and pretty good vocals from him, him entirely as well as the rest of his album. And, oh god, it's fancy. Let me wear this hat. Um, so yeah, the rest of the songs are mostly like Dandelion Time, just a bit toned down a bit. Songs like The Power, or So Glad, or Let Love Run the Game, or Catchy and Smooth and Pleasant to Hear, along with Norgan's vocals that I seemed to like personally, and I think it's just one of the best parts of the entire album. I think it's great, I think it's solid, and I just love to listen to it every day. And this kind of reminds me of a bit of a Bob Dylan slash... A bit of a natural mickle tell song, song or something. Uh, album, that's what I mean. And not in the way that, like, it's in a way of, I don't know what to put my finger on it, honestly. I was confused at that time when I was listening to finishing that album, which was today. And, yeah, I really don't mind it. Plus, the production on this one is also pretty good as well. It's pretty smooth, it's pretty good, it's not too clunky, nothing about it. It's just pretty good. Songs like The Power are also great songs that I can kind of relate to at times. Um, the ending track on this one, <laughs> Ooh Dang, pretty much is one minute and just has nothing. Pretty much nothing but random noises 
that don't even last that long. That's pretty much the problem of the entire album, though. It doesn't know exactly what it is. It was kind of hard to explain, but it, a lot of these songs kind of just have a hard time putting themselves together, and it seemed like the first track and the ending track get the worst of it. Other than that, though, I feel a lot about this album, and I feel I like just going to enjoy this artist more and more if I listen to him more and more. So pretty much my five score on this one is a 7 out of 10. The starting and the ending were a disappointment. That was my biggest all-time low with this. But the rest of the songs are great. I do really recommend this one. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you enjoy this album that I recommended to you. We'll see you next time. That was weird here.